Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's June 16th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Market Says, Brian, it's been a while. Thanks for coming back for the weekly update. Thanks for having me, Mike. Good to be back. So this was an interesting week in the markets, a relatively light new issue calendar for munis. A lot of issuers chose to step aside and wait to see what happened in terms of uh, market volatility uh, surrounding the uh, CPI reports, as well as the FOMC meeting this week. That volatility really didn't emerge. Uh, what did uh, What did we see? Yeah, relatively quiet week for munis, like you said. Uh, everybody was waiting for uh, for the FOMC meeting on Wednesday, um, but ahead of that, uh, CPI headline came in kind of right, uh, you know, right on the screws, a little bit under expectations. The headline year over year number came down to four percent, which was the lowest uh, since March of 2021. Uh, so that was a that was a good data point and gave uh, gave the market kind of. Uh, the assurance that uh, that the FOMC was likely going to pause as expected um, on in Wednesday's uh, in Wednesday's results. Um, everybody was anticipating kind of a hawkish pause, you know, maybe that the FOMC was not done for the year. Um, but if CPI came in kind of as expected in the uh, in the four percent range, I think the market was expecting four point one percent. It came in at four um, that the uh, that the FOMC would have kind of the ammo needed to pause uh, and see where the market goes from here. And that's just what they did on Wednesday. Um, you know, after 15 months uh, and 10 meetings of hikes, uh, they did leave the, uh, the the target rate unchanged uh, from five to five and a quarter percent. Um, uh, but in, uh, in Chair Powell's um, uh, address, you know, he did, uh, he did mention that, uh, that it's, you know, not to view it as a pause. Uh, the next meeting is definitely a live meeting. Um, and actually, the uh, the terminal rate uh, was increased to 5.6%, um, which indicates probably about two more cuts before the end of the year. Another comment that was interesting was that uh, it was unlikely for any cuts uh, to materialize for a couple of years. Um, so all in all, you know, the market digested that information. It was kind of in line with expectations. There really wasn't too much movement um, in the Treasury market. Two year uh, was probably about 12 basis points weaker. For the uh, for the week, going back to the end of last week, um, ending you know at about a four seventy one right now. The ten year was really only about three basis points weaker. Um, we're we're right around a three seventy seven, three seventy eight, um, and the thirty year was actually a little bit firmer by about uh, three basis points lower in yield week over week, at a three eighty six. Um, what that meant for munis, really not a whole lot of anything. Again, supply was pretty muted. Uh, with all of that going on, people were avoiding any potential volatility, um, and the muni market basically stayed unchanged most of the week. There were a couple of basis point bumps yesterday, uh, so the curve shifted two basis points lower in, uh, in most of the curve, um, but for the most part, you know, it was really mostly unchanged. Um, in that backdrop, uh, as we mentioned, supply was really light. Uh, we were really right around $4 billion, maybe a little shy of $4 billion. Uh, BAM actually had a very active week. We priced over 300 million uh, in the new issue market. One of the uh, one of the highlights for us this week was a 200 million dollar deal for uh, Greater Texoma Utility Authority, uh, which was priced by R.W. Baird. And then investors uh, looking for more information on that transaction can take a look at our YouTube page. Uh, we have a Credit Insights video about that with Ben O'Malley from our East Region Public Finance Group. Uh, interesting transaction that's uh, part of a $500 million roughly uh, capital improvement plan by the city of Sherman, Texas, which is investing in water and wastewater facilities that will in turn support uh, a major build out of the semiconductor industry here uh, domestically uh, sponsored by the CHIPS Act and, and some of the federal aid. So really an interesting synergy there between federal aid starting in industrial infrastructure spilling over into the muni market for uh, for essential public infrastructure. And I think uh, BAM uh, was it was good to be a part of that transaction. Also interesting, Brian, that, you know, in a down week for volume, the BAM's uh, total volume would be up like that kind of uh, plays into the, the trend we've seen really since the beginning of COVID that during periods of volatility, or at least anticipated volatility, uh, issuers do recognize uh, that insurance can help uh, make those transactions uh, smoother to price and, and add value in those markets. Yeah, and uh, all reads, uh, you know, on on the especially the Greater Texoma deal, um, you know, and that was on that priced on Tuesday, uh, so kind of right in the teeth of CPI data coming out and ahead of the FOMC's um, the end of the FOMC's meeting. Um, but uh, all indications were the deal priced extremely well. They had over a billion in uh, in orders, 
Um, so, uh, so made some, uh, some, some good pricing adjustments, uh, from preliminary pricing to repricing, which was, uh, which was good to see. And, um, feedback was that, uh, was that there was a, a handful of, uh, of new accounts that were participating, um, in the transaction, which, uh, which was great. And looking ahead to next week, you mentioned total volume is going to go up, uh, uh BAM insured volume is going to be probably about the same, uh, at, at least in an early read, uh, anything you're watching for. Uh, yeah, next week, uh, you know, there is uh, uh, the Juneteenth holiday uh, and the market is closed on Monday. So we have a holiday shortened week, but even even with uh, just three or four days of activity, um, volume should pick up. Uh, we're seeing about, you know, probably around six billion, maybe a little bit more uh, ready to come to market next week for uh, for BAM's activity. Uh, one of our highlights will be a university uh, of Nevada, uh, so Uni University System of Nevada for uh, for Reno which is going to be priced by Wells Fargo. Um, so we're looking ahead to that transaction. And again, new money investment there. Uh, they are building a business school, a college of business at the uh, Reno campus. And uh, this uh, transaction is going to uh, finance facilities to get that off the ground. So a nice uh, new investment uh, in a growing uh, public higher education sector out of Nevada. Well, thanks for your time this week, Brian. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Great. Thanks, Mike.